Welcome to Top Crew Aviation. This is Captain P. K. Yadav. Welcome back, guys. As uh, I gave you some, uh, you know, compulsory reporting points and uh, stations to find out your concern ATC over there. So now let's uh, find out the solution. So uh, guys, uh, next I gave you Pune, like uh, overhead Pune and flight level 250. So you are flying from uh, Mumbai to Hyderabad, let's say. What would be your ATC available? All right, uh, who would be your uh, contacting ATC okay so we need to check I gave you both the situation at flight level 250 and uh, flight level 270 we need to find out at uh, both the flight level so let's go ahead uh, let me uh, give you a tip guys like whenever you see Pune, Chennai, Hyderabad and uh, Mangalore, Calicut, Cochin, Goa well if we talk about south guys uh, in your head you should uh, get an answer like uh, that uh, should be related to the chart number seven always guys so keep it in mind this is how i do remember this is how i created in my head guys so look at over here guys uh, this is your uh, chart number seven guys and uh, over here look at here this is your uh, pune okay and we are talking about uh, pune we are overhead pune at flight level 250 the first situation so overhead pune at flight level 250 as we all are aware this is also uncontrolled area outside the tma there is no tma boundary guys we are flying from mumbai to hyderabad okay so we are flying from mumbai to hyderabad at uh, flight level uh, 250 guys so as we all are aware there is no etc available fis is not given as i told you if it is uncontrolled fis alpha control both are not given then we go for the overhead atc guys okay so what would be the overhead atc is there any overhead atc available or not as we can see overhead pune there is no overhead atc available guys okay so at flight level 250 no overhead atc we would go for the next en route atc okay so next en route atc guys if you look from mumbai to hyderabad once you uh, cross this uh, uncontrolled area you are going to enter in hyderabad uh, tma all right guys so the next en route atc would be your hyderabad control so this is the correct atc okay now we have to check at flight level 270 overhead pune guys so always i told you uh, there is a upper limit applicable in uh, chart number 7 above flight level 255 all the in complete chart ATC would be your Chennai control so as we are talking about 270 so our next end route ATC would be Chennai control so the correct ATC overhead Pune at flight level 270 would be your Chennai control guys okay so Next, as I told you, approach limit of Trivendram would be from flight level 50 to flight level 255 because upper limit is applicable because there cannot be any other ATC available above flight level 255. All right, guys. So, Mangalore control as well. You can have a look in chart number 7, flight level 502, flight level 255. If no frequency of approach is available, then Mangalore control would be from flight level 502, flight level 255, no approach guys, okay. Next was uh, overhead Calicut at flight level 100, have a look, you can use Calicut tower, but at flight level 200, there would be a coaching approach. So I'm sure I have given you enough example guys, I told you about each and everything in this and uh, still if you have any kind of confusion you can uh, get back to me all right and uh, i'm here to help you guys so as uh, in this chart number guys now what is radial as i told you how you can find out the radial guys so let me give you an idea look at over here guys this is the radial from okay from hyderabad 
all right these degrees are the radial you will understand uh, much more later but uh, this is how identify radial okay if anybody is asking radial from uh, chennai so that is uh, chennai you are flying from chennai to trichirappalli then uh, your radial would be 215 because radial always uh, from radial is from okay and uh, if you discuss more about it guys so if you check at hyderabad uh, what is the radial radial is uh, 158 if you are flying from hyderabad to chennai so this is how you identify radial and one more thing i would like to tell you there is dme over here it is not mentioned but uh, what is the uh, dme distance just for your knowledge uh, i'm going to tell you okay guys any red color digit on any route guys would be always dme distance i'll show you somewhere in updated charts so that uh, you guys uh, can have a look because whatever charts you are going to get in your exam that would be with radial only so any red color digit on any route if it is written that is your dme distance guys so sometimes examiner asks like uh, what is the distance from point a to point b so uh, you have to check like uh, uh, point a to b let's say for an example you are flying from uh, from hyderabad to chennai okay so if uh, somebody is asking you for the dme and uh, dme would be mentioned uh, so uh, guys over here uh, look at over here from uh, hyderabad to lima there would be a distance lima to bodil there would be a distance mentioned on chart from bodil to hyderabad uh, there would be a distance on chart available so do remember if they are asking you for the dme distance from hyderabad to chennai you have to make some of all these three distances okay so this is how you have to uh, deal with the dme distances on the charts which you would find on the examiner so you will find uh, the charts with the dme distances so this is what uh, i didn't uh, teach you so nothing rocket science everything is normal just uh, be calm and uh, because now you are aware i have revealed the secrets okay so there would be a distances available on all the charts in case if you get any question you can deal with this like okay guys so take care and bye for now here you go your checklist like subscribe and share thank you for watching